Robin! Robin! You left your weed out! Help us, kitty cat, roaming around the house! Yeah, I guess the moron's not home. All right! Holy crap, I am freaking out! Greetings! Welcome to Cooking with Babin! And friends! And you, who got into my bong! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Sure. Wow! Yeah! Wow! Oh. I sound like Sal. You do, you know that I sound like Sal, but you don't quite, because you're not putting this at the end of every word. Whoa! That's better. Yeah. Anyways, today we are continuing from our episode called the Six Dollar Chicken. And we are going to be making the chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup, Batman. Chicken, sure, because we are putting noodles into it. With so, all the fixings. So wait a minute, first, uh, let's take a look at the raw chicken. Should be somewhere on the screen right now. Point somewhere, so we know. Point with your nose. Over there. There we go, that's where it is, okay. And what we have on there is we've got some white pepper, and we've got some sage, we've got a lot of paprika, and we've got some garlic powder on there. And if you look real close, you might just spot a chicken bouillon cube in the middle of that chicken. Now, let's take a look at it after it was cooked. Point somewhere else. Over there. There it is, over there. Perfect, Selena. Yeah. Very good, you're making hallucinations with your nose. Yes. Anyways, if we'll take a look over here, this is what's left over. I really had to curb my appetite to make sure that we had something left over. And now uh, we're just gonna grab this grill. Actually, no. And you see we have this all congealed up. We're gonna grab, yeah, there we go. Grab this board. Pick up the grill. Go like this, all that congealed stuff is just, just amazing. Yep. The reason we want to start with that, here is just water. This is nothing but water. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in here. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to get this started right away. I'm That's, surprised I brought that back the six dollar chicken there, Batman. I know, I can't believe it. Dollar ninety-seven a pound. Weren't they at fourteen dollars? They like, were like fourteen ago? bucks and, and that's no why one, we haven't been yeah. having any chicken. No one buys law at fourteen bucks. Alright. So we are going to do this very strategically. Realistically, this should take a long time to make, but we're gonna see just how quickly we can make it. We're gonna start with the potatoes. The oh. reason we're starting with the potatoes is because we wanna get all the starch out of them and we wanna get them going right away. So this bowl of water, that specifically, these are clean potatoes by the way, that specifically is to de-starch my potatoes. My potatoes are gonna be the first thing cut and the second last thing in. Okay, no one wants to watch you cut potatoes, Batman. Well, yes, they do. No. Yes, they yeah. do. Oh, are, are we back? Okay, so you guys missed a lot while I was gone. What? Uh, yeah, I, we, we, look at what we've done here. You, wait, 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 wait. What, what do you mean you missed a lot? You cut like five potatoes, some dirty ass carrots, and four stalks of celery. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure they missed so much there, Batman. Okay. Well, look at look at this. It's uh, getting hot, anyways. And, and and here's the celery, which I already pre-cleaned. Let's go ahead and get that going in. So that is way too much celery. It's I'm good only for putting you. it in there because someone is making me put it in there. Plants are good for you. Plants wow, are good for you. Wow! 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 All right. Ah. So the other thing I did is after I was uh, done washing these, I de-starched all my potatoes, really ran some good water over it, then I filled it up with water from the fridge because we're gonna put our potatoes and carrots, and we're gonna dump it right into our soup and dry it out the splash ourselves. See all the oil? See all the oil that's up there? Ooh. That's good, that's flavor. Yeah, there we go. Birds. Ah, yeah. uh, speaking of birds. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack a freshly Canadian egg or whatever it is. Oh, you're doing the Chinese way? Yeah, we're gonna do the whole whisk of an egg. So, uh, shh, shh, shh. What, shh, wait, 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 wait. Quiet, no, 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 be quiet, no, no, no. quiet when I'm cracking the egg. No. You be quiet, no. quiet when I'm, what, no. what? No, that is my egg. That is my egg, Batman, you put it back. You are not allowed to touch that egg. Mine. I found it in your bed. I thought you warmed it up for me. I told you it's mine. If it was in my bed, it's mine. 
Are Don't you? Don't touch the egg! Are you roosting an egg? I don't know what the hell I even <laughs> mean, but... <laughs> you! You're roosting an egg! You think you're gonna hatch a chicken from that egg! I am! You think you are! Yeah. You think that egg's gonna... By all means, where would you like it, your majesty? Just put it back in the pantry! Put it back in the pantry! In a bowl, in the back. In the very back, so you don't touch it. In the very back, I'm not putting it in the back because I don't want to. I don't want to break your egg. So how long is this gonna take, Selena? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe another episode of Cooking with Batman is how long it's gonna take. All right. So next, we have our chicken here. And what we want to do? We want to do. Let's move this out of it. We want to start picking this apart. Oh. Try not to get any bones in your soup. But you know what? Look, a lot of the fat's already melted off from just the... Oh, there's congealing! There's congealing in there! Uh, so this is going to take a while, but we're going to pick this apart. We're going to put it into the pot. Get off the bone there. Get off the bone there. Mmm, birds! Yeah. Oh yeah, don't hurt me. You're afraid to get some skin in there, too. Yeah. Let's keep it in there. Oh, don't get the cartridge in there. Some people don't like that. This part, we're not going to use this. We're not going to use this. We don't have lots of flavor in there. Alright. Next, we're going to pick off the other one. Are, are you really going to show them all this footage? Shh! This is uh, the best part. This is the best part. It's only going to take me 10 minutes. What? No way! No! Skip! So, uh, I've just finished washing my hands after tearing this bird apart to uh, pieces, as you can see. And uh, I've got my soup scoop here. I'm just going to dunk this for you. Good old soup scoop. Uh, to dunk this down. Now, the celery is going to take a long, long time. Uh, the potatoes not so long, the carrots a uh, medium amount of time. Uh, myself, I'm just going to avoid eating the celery. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Uh, but ideally, this is going to take four hours or best of the next day. Or next best offer. Or your next best offer is to let it cook like this in a hard boil for an hour and then add your noodles 10 yeah. minutes before you're ready to serve. Yum. But first, got to spice this up a little bit. we got some more things to add. So let's take some oregano. See, I said it right. Yeah. And we're going to do a, a couple of heaping pinches here. Actually, that's a big yeah. heaping pinch. Like a lobster, rat man. There's a heaping pinch. And then we're going Thank to go ahead and grab some rosemary. And what you're going to want to do is crumble this up with your fingers a little bit when you put it in. Just a big heaping pinch. Like that bra that Simon and Garfunkel sung about. <laughs> Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. No. Oh, Everyone wait, always like, says. Wait, they were talking about spices. Holy shit. Holy shit. What I was... just got that. How high are you? I don't know, but I just got Simon and Garfunkel. Uh -huh. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. They were thinking about fucking spices, right, man? <laughs> this is onion powder. You told me to put onions, and then we compromised, and you said as long as you put onion powder, you can fucking do it. You didn't say how much. So one dried clump of very old onion powder. <laughs> uh, teriyaki sauce. It's almost like soy sauce, but it's not. Are you still that? You are. You have the same thing. And just a, just a little. Let's darken it. Just darken our mixture. Oh, wow, listen to that. Mmm. Uh, all right. Next, we're gonna get some basil in there. Use the uh, use the side with the picture of the spoon on it. Is he gonna? Ooh, that's probably a little that's, too much. That's Oopsie why you said use the side with the spoon because you use a spoon. And then we're gonna take a like a, a grip, a grip of parsley. There, that's a that's a good amount of parsley. Just grip the parsley there. Then we're gonna take some black pepper. Now, one ingredient that I'm purposely not putting in here is salt. Because I feel like you can salt your own soup. And it feels like one of those things where it's like you're waiting for your soup to cool, and you go, and you're like, ooh, it needs salt, and then it gives you a thing to do. Uh, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I've never done it, and give someone told me that the, I should. Give the cat money? You, you always tell that. me that. Yeah, but you haven't done it yet. So, this garlic. We already know that there's garlic powder on here. I've been told that the flavor of garlic is completely different when, um, let's make sure it's not gone bad. Okay. How long have you had that, Batman? Um, over a month. But I mean, 
I've seen movies where people have it like hanging from their ceiling on a on a vine. Let's just peel it back a little. Who the hell does that? Okay, I don't know. Maybe in the 1800s or something. Ah, oh, we're not gonna do it. Yeah. I think the garlic's good. 16 Whoa. cents and two months of waiting for a garlic. That's not my money back. Let me, let me tell you what I was going to do. I was going cents. to. Actually, I'm going to show you what I was going to do. I was going to crush the garlic with the side of my blade. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that was going to release a different flavor than slicing it. Like if I were using a mortar and pestle. Throw it out. Actually, I think that piece might not be bad. Okay, okay, I will contaminate your soup. Anyways, um, I, do you guys want to see me back in an hour to put noodles in here? Yeah, you, the, you should probably present it or something, but you just serve it to me at the end. Oh. All right. I'll see you guys in like an hour. All right. All right. Hot soup. Hot soup. Selena! Why? Come on! I got a bag of friskies! I don't eat friskies! That's you! Okay, I'm putting the noodles in! Come on over! I'm doing it already! Aren't you gonna come? No, I'm coming down! Oh boy. Alright. So remember the noodles expand. No, well, let's turn this down just a little bit. That's kind of a hard boil. Uh, I don't know how long it's been, but uh, we're gonna put in not too, too many. But uh, we also want to make it noodly. So, let's see, I put in yeah, a little bit more than that. There we go. I put in about a third of a box of 410 grams. I, I put in, let's say, 130 grams. Yeah, let's say 130 grams of rotini noodles. I couldn't find bow ties. So here they go. And uh, we'll keep this at a nice hard boil. And in 10 minutes, this will be ready to serve. Which means I need to get my bread going. My baguette. I'm only gonna make half the baguette. Well, that's been about long enough now. I'm going to, uh, I guess we gotta test it. We gotta test it. So welcome back, Selena. I thought you were coming down. I was. And then? Add some more pot. Yeah. You're back up. I'm You're back, back up. All right, so this one is going to be for you, Selena. As you can see, I've uh, sliced your bread and I've buttered it individually. Yeah. And I've got a bowl here. I got a bunch of Yum. Mm, Where's some bird? This hearty chicken soup. No real soup. Hearty chicken soup. Yes. Now you're only a little cat, so a couple scoops should be enough for you. Yep. And bon appetit, yours is served. Yum. Now for me, I've got four ice cubes because we all know I like to put things in my mouth right away. I'm always putting things in my mouth. So I have four ice cubes in the bottom of this pie plate there. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab me a good basilly scoop. Well, at least you learn not to burn your mouth anymore so you use ice cubes. Well, I still suspect I'm going to burn my mouth if I don't wait for those ice cubes to go away yeah. and there we go you know we're gonna grab my piece of loaf which i've already buttered oh i buttered this end and uh well, let's give this a little stir to melt the ice cubes and uh you know, just kind of crab a noodle with some chicken yeah right there yeah yeah Ew, mm. too hot too hot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how the is ice it? cubes are doing their job how is it mm. Mm -hmm. i think ah, that is hot good. And hot! Mm. 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 Superb! And it'll be even better tomorrow! Ah, you get it? Superb? Or was that only me? Dude, you are stoned as fuck! <laughs> 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 because it's herb soup, obviously. Yep. Alright! Well, be sure to subscribe, everyone! And, uh, hopefully my egg will hatch soon. I'm gonna have some yum. This Bye. I want to see. Whatever. Oh, you got that.